So, hey guys, welcome in this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to update CashOS and all the applications that you have. I'm going to show you both how to update it with a GUI application and also with the terminal at the end of this video. So the first way to update the operating system with a GUI application is to open the start menu and type for Octopi, okay? So we're not gonna use this software, but we're going to use this software to install another application, which is the one that we're going to use to update the operating system. So we're just going to click on this search bar right here and you search for BAU this way and here this application pops up so you right click on it you click on install and here you want to check every checkbox that is appearing and after you have selected every checkbox you click on OK and then you click on this arrow right here to confirm so you click on yes it is going to ask you for the password so we're going to input the password and you click on OK and it's going to do everything by itself. You don't have to do anything. And once it finishes installing, you can even close Octopi. And here, back on the start menu again, we type BAU. And here it is. We click on Applications BAU. You don't want to click on the BAU tray, you want to click on BAU. And it's going to ask you for the password, so we're going to input the password. Click on continue. And so after it has synchronized everything, you can update your operating system just like this. So it will show you the updates right here. Once you open BAU, the first thing it's going to show you is that if you have any updates to do to the operating system, it's going to show you them first. So as you can see, we have two options. We have the option to refresh and to update. So of course, if you want to update the operating system, you're going to click on update. You click on yes, then you click on proceed. And then after it's done updating the system, it will ask you if you want to restart the operating system. You don't really need to restart the operating system in most cases, unless you have a kernel update. In fact, I find this pop-up annoying for the most part. I'm going to click on not now. And I'm also going to disable that pop-up appearing ever again. I'm going to click on the gear icon right here to open the settings. And here I'm gonna go on general and reboot after upgrading, I'm going to select no, so that every time I update the operating system, it's not going to ask me if I want to reboot it or not. And also I'm going to click on interface and select system team, yes, so that it's going to have a system team, like, because right now, as you can see, it has a light mode, but my operating system has a dark mode, and by checking the system team box, it's going to have a dark mode. So I'm going to click on change, I'm going to click on yes, and as you can see, now we have a dark mode. It's much more beautiful, in my opinion. And then I'm going to also show you how to update the operating system from the terminal. So what you have to do is open the terminal. So I'm going to search for console. So once you have opened the terminal, you just type sudo pacman. Yes, pacman. Uh, this symbol, I don't really know how it's called in English. I don't know if it's called dash or whatever. You just put the middle line and then you type capital S, Y and U. So this command without the space, this command is how you update the operating system on Arch Linux and on CacheOS too. So you click enter after you have input this command, sudo pacman su, you input your password, then you click enter again, and we've already updated the operating system, so there is nothing to do. But if there were some updates to do, then you're going to have to type uh, Y, because it's going to ask you if you really want to update the operating system, and you type Y if you want to update the operating system, and you type N if you don't want to update the operating system. And that's it. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to know to update the operating system from the terminal. Also, if you want to update Flatpak applications, and if you do not know what Flatpak applications are, go and watch my Linux beginner guide uh, on how to switch to Linux, because I'll give a brief explanation of what Flatpak applications are. But if you want to update Flatpak applications, all you have to type is Flatpak update. This is all you have to type in order to update Flatpak applications and there's nothing to do right now. But if there were something to do, it will ask again if you want to confirm the update. So Y to confirm and N, which stands for no to not update the Flatpak applications. So this is how you update CacheOS both from the GUI and from the terminal. So I'm going to show you in the next video about how to install applications on CacheOS. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe because it helps the channel grow a lot. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye bye.